Okay, Doug. This is carburetorsmore.com, 832-221-4007. Okay, first of all, got some extra parts in this bag. I rep we replaced all the screws that hold the carburetor together with either chrome-plated or cadmium-plated so they won't rust. Here's your original ugly ones if you want to put them back in there. Okay, I'm going to send them along with it. Okay, let me call your attention to this screw right here. That screw is to be shut off at all times. You get your mixture from here and here. I do not know where you get your idle at because this carburetor, much to my surprise, has no idle speed screw like most carburetors. I've heard some people try to get their idle off that, but that's not the proper thing to do. So there must be something else that allows you to do that. Okay, now, here's your electric choke. Of course, you know about that. It's your ground. You got it. You'll get instructions on how to put your hot wire on and how to set it because we set them, we ship them out turned off so that the way there's no problem to that interfere with the function. Now I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It takes about three people to do it, but I gotta hold the throttle. I gotta hold the throttle partly open. I gotta try to accelerate it. Then I gotta make sure it doesn't die out. And it's there's nobody in here, they all went to lunch. And I'm trying to get this done for you. So I'm going to try to run around the back and turn the dyno on. And uh, see if I can catch it before it stalls out. No, I didn't. I'm gonna, I can turn it on, then restart it. Oh, we're having more fun than we ought to. That was really a surprise to me about that. About that. <laughs> But it'll, it, this crazy thing here at Lytle, it's idle in 250 RPM, 300 RPM. Of course, it ain't gonna, I don't know what, there must be something that hooks to that linkage, just like a Cadillac. But this is, I have no further comment. Except I'm gonna take it up to, Okay, we took her all the way up to the rev limiter at the 5500, putting out a lot of torque. Really a nice, nice, nice unit. All brand new here and there, everywhere. I don't know why they want to leave that open, but we don't ever leave them open. But they leave it open. This is not this. I don't think that's an original. Uh, I don't think that's an original electric unit because it was chrome plated. And I don't think those were foam painted original ones. So I'm going to leave this open. You might want to think about plugging it, you know, with a with a soft aluminum plug if it if it hinders the speed of the choke opening. The only thing it might do is let it cool air in there, which you need all the hot air you can get to make that choke open to consume the so that it won't burn up a lot of gas. You know what I'm saying? With, with this thing is sucking cold air from the outside, it's going to have a tendency to cool that spring off in there. So it's going to stay choking longer. So I would say plug that up there and the choke would turn off quicker and save fuel. Let me check the power valves while I'm at it. Okie dokie. Let me turn the video off. Get ready to send you a bill in the video.